An opening ceremony is always a start of history. Well, we try to convey um, the sense of sharing, participating, enjoying, celebrating. The greatest challenge in this hero has been COVID. We managed to approach this in a very positive way and this has led us to have a very successful event. You know, so much suffering, so many difficulties. How to deal with the, the limitations of the stadium and all the operations of the spider camp, for instance. Whatever happens uh, seems like magic. How to enhance the presence of a few, just a few dancers on the field of play in order to let them be the heroes. That's why the big balloons came in to let the ballerina fly. This one will be very rich in terms of colors, in terms of messages, very magical somehow. Everything is really detailed, but here is my treasure, here is my masterpiece. This is the corset of our goddess. The message, light, energy. The handmade work is humanity. No machines, but human beings doing hard work. It's been a great pleasure to work with Vivo in the last years. We have been working with them very closely and their approach, which is very technological and innovative, has been a real added value to the ceremony. In the ceremony, we have a segment with augmented reality and I have to say that it's mainly thanks to Vivo that we, we managed to achieve this result. It's looking very nice. It's the first time Euro is uh, composed by so many hosting cities and the message is so simple but also so powerful. Together we can make Euro fly. We all need to come out from the darkness and go in through the light. This is my main, uh, let's say, attitude and my main aim to produce, to produce happiness and joy. We all need. Here in Rome, that gathers so many people around the world to celebrate the pleasure to come back to a stadium, to celebrate the start of this very exciting tournament. It's the start of a new chapter. Welcome back.